Hello, Scott here. Uh, today I wanted to show you my lifting tool. Um, the other day we shot this and uh, we were trying to wrap colonies and videotape stuff and it was cold and we were trying to do too many things in, in a short period of time and uh, I was rushing a few things and, and I forgot to mention a couple of the key points of this so I thought I would just reshoot this uh, beginning segment and explain this a bit better. Um, you can buy these lifting tools through a few of the honey supply places but I made my own. This is just some three quarter inch electrical conduit. Not real difficult to make. It has to have a, a pivot point in the center as you can see and these two bars. Um, my hives are turned so I want to lift it from here. The, the entrance is down on this side so I don't want to be standing in front of the entrance so I stand to the side. Now this way the hive is 16 and 5 eighths so this dimension has to be something more than 16 and 5 eighths. That dimension is not important whatsoever. Um, this way on the colony it's 19 and uh, 3 quarters um, so this dimension between these has to be about an inch and a half more. You don't want it a lot more, you don't want a lot less, but that measurement's important. Uh, like I said, I'm going to lift this way. So when this goes on, there'll be three quarters of an inch gap here and here on each side. If you were running a conventional colony, the door would be on this side or this side. Then you're going to want to be lifting from this way. Well then, the 16 and 5 eighths, you add an inch and a half. And the only other thing that's important is to make sure you get all these things welded square. So it's really uh, not a difficult thing to use. I have some handles that we have to negotiate, but basically you just run it down and because of my handles, I'll stop and I'll let my wife get past that one. Then she comes in, I get past. Then once we're down below, oh, okay. One other thing that's important, you're going to be lifting on the bottom box of the colony you got to make sure that the floor is attached. Uh, there, this is an empty colony, there's nothing in this. I just have a couple staples. But on the colony I moved the other day, which you're going to see in a minute, uh, I put a block of wood there with a couple screws. So that is something to keep in mind, that the floor has to be attached because you're lifting on this, you're not lifting on the floor. So once, once you have it in place as you lift, what happens is these two bars jam because of the pivot point, they jam against the box. They're not actually catching on the handle, although sometimes they do. But that's, it's not the handle that's catching this. It's just jamming or wedging against the box. And then you're able to very easily lift the colony and away you go. Like I say, this one's empty. It's easy to do. Um, the one that I move later in this video, I had a buddy of mine that came over. Now my wife can do it, um, but they are a little heavy for her. So it's a couple guys. Uh, yeah, you need two people to do it, but uh, to try and move a colony like this by yourself, you'd have, I think you'd have to take it all apart. I can't imagine lifting that up and carrying it. And when the weather's cold, you certainly don't want to be taking the colony apart. So a great little tool if you do need to move some colonies. Like I say, the video you're about to see was shot a few days ago. But uh, yeah, stick around and we'll show you how we move a full strength colony. Thanks. Okay, so this is the colony we want to move. You see I have two of them on this pallet. Um, in the springtime I had four nukes here, each flying in a different direction. And I, as I moved them up to 10 frame equipment, um, they, I just left them here with the doors flying the same way. But now I want to wrap these up for the winter and they're too close together. So I want to put this one in the middle of the pallet and this one we're going to move to that pallet over there. So all I need to do, can't quite get our tool here. So I just got to gently turn that a little bit, try not to upset the girls. And then, oh, we'll get rid of the roof. We don't, we don't need to be carrying that. And we'll get rid of the ventilation box. And as you see, I did put a block here just so that doesn't come apart. And then, the same as the empty hive, we just have to get past those handles. Like I say, it's a little bit of a pain. Then once we're past the handle, we just center it, and then just gently lift it. And now this colony's, this colony's about 150 pounds. So two guys. My wife and I can actually do this, but my wife found out my buddy Trevor was coming over today. So, and we're going to turn it so that the entrance flies south. And we'll put it in the middle of the hive. Just bring it forward so that plywood's lined up there, right there. And then off with the tool. And that is it. I'll just put the vent and the roof back on and I'll get this one wrapped up and they're good for the winter. So thanks for watching. And as always, you be good to your bees and they'll be good to you. Take care now.